Good afternoon, everyone. It's Reverend Charles Ulick from Grace Episcopal Church, standing in our one of our uh, beautiful rooms uh, called the Langstaff Room here at Grace Episcopal Church. And directly behind me is a the stained glass window of the Good Samaritan. And Jesus uh, telling the story of the parable of the Good Samaritan, helping that person uh, in need. Today we celebrate the festival day of uh, Harriet Star Cannon. I'll tell you a little bit more about this one wonderful woman in just a moment, which ties to this stained glass window. Let us put ourselves in the presence of the Lord in this midday on this Thursday, uh, May 7th of uh, this uh, 20th year, 2020, excuse me, <laughs> as we place ourselves in God's holy presence and slow our day down and to call our Lord with us once again. As we begin, we're on page 103 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 103. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our psalm today can be found on page 715, page 715, Psalm 89. We're going to read a portion of this psalm this morning, or this afternoon. Psalm 89, verses 20 through 29. Wherever you might be, let us take a moment and turn to our Book of Common Prayer on page 715, and let us read this together. I have found David my servant. With my holy oil have I anointed him. My hand will hold him fast, and my arm will make him strong. No enemy shall deceive him, nor any wicked man bring him down. I will crush his foes before him, and strike down those who hate him. My faithfulness and love shall be with him, and he shall be victorious through my name. I shall make his dominion extend from the great sea to the river. He will say to me, you are my father, my God and the rock of my salvation. I will make him my firstborn and higher than the kings of the earth. I will keep my love for him forever and my covenant will stand firm for him. I will establish his line forever and his throne as the days of heaven. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our scriptures continue with uh, from the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, verses 1 through 2, 5 through 8, and 15 through 16. Let mutual love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for by doing that some have entertained angels without knowing it. Keep your lives free from the love of money, and be content with what you have. For he has said, I will never leave you or forsake you. So we can say with confidence, The Lord is my helper, I will not be afraid. What can anyone do with me to me? Remember your leaders, those who spoke the word of God to you. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their, life, their, their faith. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. Through him, then, let us continually offer a sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of lips that confess his name. Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have. For such sacrifices are pleasing to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. As I was mentioning, today we celebrate the festival life and day of Harriet Star Cannon. She was a religious uh, superior of the com uh, community of St. Mary. She was born in 1823 in Charleston. And unfortunately, in that year, that entire year, was orphaned in 1824 when the, uh, her parents died of yellow fever in that period of time. 
She grew up with her only surviving sibling, who was in Bridgeport, Connecticut at the time, and they lived and grew up there. And so as we listen and we watch uh, Harriet Star Cannon move through her life, she decides to dedicate her life uh, and become a sister of the community of the Holy Communion in New York City. From that, she was involved in the operations and the clinical care at St. Luke's Hospital at the city of New York. And during those years, the Sisters of Holy Communion, Cannon, as a nurse, served many, many different times in many different places. She also overcame great hardship. She decided to wanted to dedicate her life to a more monastic tradition following in the Episcopal Church. In the Episcopal Church. And on the Feast of the Presentation on February 2nd, 1865, Horatio Potter, the Bishop of the Diocese of New York, received her and her other companions uh, to become traditionally uh, devout in poverty, chastity, and obedience at St. Michael's Church in Manhattan. It was from there that Harriet and her companions and she became the first superior of her order of the community of St. Mary. My dear friends, as we listen to her story, I'm gonna tell a little bit more about her this evening at our Compline time prayer. We can hear the passages of the Psalmist and from the book of Hebrews coming forward of how it means to be a servant to be a servant for Jesus Christ, to be a model and a witness for his life in our world today. We are not living very un un uncommon times because yellow fever hit our country in multiple different ways, actually the world uh, in different time periods. And so we still have, are dealing with viruses and epidemics. These are not new, but what we do have today is a way of living of how we can be an instrument of God's love in the world, to be that instrument of love, or as the book of Hebrews reminds us of it, of being living free and giving the love of money not to be our inherently things that we have to be a part of, but living as human beings, caring and concerned for each other. That is the way of love. It is the way of giving of ourselves as Jesus gave of himself for us. Amen. We continue with our prayers on page 106 in your book of common prayer. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. My sisters and brothers, let us pray the prayer Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Gracious God, you called Mother Harriet and her companions to revive the religious life in the Episcopal Church by founding the religious community of St. Mary and to dedicate their lives to you. Grant that after their and their holy living, through our Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns, with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us offer our prayers as people of God. If you turn to page 387 in your Book of Common Prayer, page 387, let us read Prayers of the People, Form 3. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church, that we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you, that your name may be glorified by all people. We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons, that they may be faithful ministers of your word and sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world, 
that, they, that there may be justice and peace on the earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake, that our works may find favor in your sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble, that they may be delivered from their distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light perpetually shine upon them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we also come to share in your heavenly kingdom. Let us offer our prayers and our own needs at this time. If you'd like to post them online, you're welcome to do so. Let us offer them no matter what we pray at this time. We pray, O oh Lord, for all of our medical providers. We pray especially for all nurses as we remember uh, Harriet Star Cannon this day. We pray, O oh Lord, for all those who are suffering from the coronavirus. We pray that you may comfort them and give them healing presence. We pray for their families and their loved ones who worry about those loved ones who have the virus. Give them patience and, and strength of faith. We pray for this beautiful day that is giving us here in Western Kentucky. We give you thanks, Lord, for uh, this beautiful weather. We ask you, Lord, to help uh, those, especially who are sleeping outside, be, be with them as we have some chilly uh, cold fronts coming through right now. We ask you, Lord, to give thanks uh, as we uh, in, embark with uh, the Center for Youth Ministry Training uh, and bringing on a new youth pastor with us here at Grace Episcopal Church. And we, our prayer for and is being answered by bringing a not young lady, her name is uh, Hannah Minton, uh, who is, be, is going to be joining us here at Grace Episcopal uh, in the next few months. We pray in thanksgiving for her willingness to step forward and to receive her graduate school training and that we as a church may welcome her with open arms and also to help in uh, helping her with the ministry with our children and youth. We pray, O oh Lord, uh, for the people who are working at uh, bringing their businesses back up online, give them uh, the courage to do so in safety uh, to, for the public and for their own well-beings and for their employees who they employ. We pray, O oh Lord, to keep everyone safe. We pray for social distancing and people to be mindful of being loving to their neighbor by not passing on the virus. Help us, O oh Lord, be by our social distancing and self-isolation in loving one another and not spreading this terrible virus. We pray, O oh Lord, in thanksgiving for all this we ask. Listen to our prayers, Lord Jesus. We ask all this in the name of his holy name, Jesus Christ, our risen Savior. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you so much for joining me today as we gathered on this midday to celebrate the festival day of Harriet Star Cannon. May you have a wonderful afternoon. Remember, God loves you, and so do we, and I here at Grace Episcopal Church. Have a wonderful afternoon. Amen.